What's going on YouTube? It's dgram13 here. And I'm here at the arcade at Tilt Studio where I'm always playing DDR. And I'm not going to be making any recordings of me playing today because I'm low on power and I'm just not feeling my best right now. So, instead what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making an arcade tour. I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. It's really loud. Anyway. This arcade tour is pretty much just gonna be, you know, just for fun. Show around what the place is like. See if any there's anything here that any of you in the comments spark your interest. And I can play it for camera at another point in time. So let's begin. Anyway, you all know what this is. DDR Extreme Machine in all its glory. That's that. Right here we got, you know, one of these little gambling machines. We don't have to worry about that. It's a kitty ride over there. This game broken called um, Paradise Lost, some shooter. And as you can hear to the left of me right now, we got the Pump It Up machine. And I suck at Pump It Up, but if you guys ever want to see me play Pump It Up and just suck at it, just let me know, I'll play it. Anyway, once again, Paradise Lost. Another one of these cyclone gambling machines. It, it's a kid, it's an American arcade, you're gonna find tons of these. I'm just surprised this arcade has other options. Another arcade. And here we got, oh, I didn't even know we had this. It's called Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Alrighty then. Right here we got what we call Fury Championship Racing. It's a racing game. It looks pretty old, like. Oh, it says Midway. This kind of looks like a Sega game to me. Anyway, it's an old one. Looks like a classic, never played it. This one apparently is broken, maybe initializing or something. Whole line of more racing games here. Super GT, Sega, another good one. Whole giant line of Super GTs. And here we got a game called California Speed by Atari. Must be towards the very end of their line. All right, here we got a game called Motocross Go. It's a popular one around these sort of local arcades. It's a biking game. And this one, I don't even know what this is. It's an ATV truck arcade game. Really interesting one. I've never seen an ATV arcade game. And here we got another, just tons of driving games here. This one's more of a, like, safari simulator. And what we got here, another gambling machine. Here's one of the many claw machines you'll find here. There's another one right next to the DDR machine. It has lots of balls. There's the bowling alley. I'm never gonna be playing that, but every time I play DDR, somebody's always playing bowling. And I don't think anything bad's gonna happen, but you can see where I'm coming from here. Anyway, Soul Calibur 2. Uh, we got all the Time Crisis games over here that we got. Time Crisis 2, Time Crisis 3. You guys saw me play that. And here's another one I really like, House of the Dead 4. I, I just love all the House of the Dead games. They're just, they're always really fun to go back to. They, 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 the graphics look really crappy, but that's what makes it so great. And over here we got another interesting one. One of my favorite fighting games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I have a little bit of experience with this one. Like I had it on my phone once, I played, I'm pretty good at it, but again, anybody wants me to play this game, I'll be more than happy to. Moving right along, getting out of this section that I'm in for literally all the time I come here. We go over to the next game, Silent Scope, which apparently, according to the arcade, is the game of the week. Good for him, um, I hope his parents are happy. This game should be proud of itself. Anyway, we got NFL Blitz 2000. It's just a, it's a football game. And this one's really interesting. I've never played it, but I've seen it. And I, I've always wanted to see this in action. It's called Derby Owners Club World Edition. It's a Sega game, and it's a four-player deluxe, like, horse jockey game. With multiple screens. I'm like a precursor to the Wii U or something. <laughs> And, yeah, I always wanted to see how it works. Alright then, here we got Tekken 5. 
I know Lev, you want me to play this one. I'll get to that as soon as possible. Oh yeah, as, lo as long as we're on the topic of Tekken, we also got Tekken 6. I didn't even know we had it. You probably want me to play that more, but I don't even know. Hey, what? It's on free play? <laughs> Why is it on free play? Freaking arcade, what the hell? Alright, whatever. Just get that fixed. Anyway, what's this? It's called Gunblade Special Air Assault Force. Yeah, just a random, just a shooter. Looks pretty nice. LA, LA machine guns. You stand on this gigantic platform, and you're pretty much just a rail shooter. Now this one's interesting. It's a horse jockey game called Namco's Finer Final Four Long. Sorry. Uh, so anyway. You get on the horse, and you pretty much just become a jockey. You're not allowed to move its head up and down like it's at a, like a Metallica concert. You gotta actually ride that horse like it's like, like it's your wife. Okay, I'm sorry. That's really inappropriate. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Here we go. A good classic. Play this one all the time. Like, all the time. I'm always trying to get the first place. Cruising. Um, I don't think it's USA, but it's cruising, driving, whatever. All right, Daytona, USA. It's good. Another good racing game, although it's super loud in gameplay. Super loud. Oh, hold on. Okay, never mind. I thought that would be super loud. All right, moving on. Got one of these. I hate this game. Never played it. Well, in this arcade, at least I've played it before. Anyway, y'all know what it is. Just a little baby basketball. Whatever. Again, every arcade has one of these. You all know the drill here. This is another kid game. More claw machines. Kitty things. And as we get closer to the entrance, you're gonna see lots of ginormous games. Like ginormous. Like this behemoth over here. This is what most of the little kids here always go for. Just because look how big it is. Oh my god. But that's not the biggest. I'll, I'm gonna get to that later. You got another one of these gambling things. Every single arcade has a hockey machine. I mean, come on. La laser tag, self planetary, who cares? Baby version. More arcade stuff. And here we have the one and only ski ball machine. You all know how it goes. Take the ball, roll it, and get it in the hole. And here's a game that takes all of your money. Deal or no deal. You all know how the game works. Went up to a thousand tickets, which will probably get you like a stick of gum. Alright. <laughs> More gigantic claw machines. Pretty much just cash grabbers. And with this one right here, I this one's really interesting, although unfortunately the sound doesn't work on it. It's called the Mad Wave Motion Theater. And it's basically a roller coaster. Like you sit here, they got speakers. Although, once again, as I said, the sound doesn't work, which kind of ruins it. The game actually interacts. Well, it's not a game. And then seats move, simulating a roller coaster experience. And I played it, tried it once, it's really awesome. But I didn't have sound again, so yeah. All right, we got Virtua Cop here. We have that Virtua Cop 3, the gun and all. Again, if you guys want me to play that, just let me know. What we got over here, I don't know, what game is this? Ghost Squad. Another Sega title, another Sega shooter. Looks a lot like those um, Terminator and Alien games. This one, this one's a good classic. Rail shooter. Jurassic Park, The Lost World. And Let's Go Jungle, another rail shooter. And here's the game I was talking about, the behemoth. Look how huge this game is. This is Transformers. Obviously a new game with a gigantic LED screen and it takes up like this entire room. My God. And there's one of these. Of course, more claw machines. And uh, what else we got? Uh, there's tons of crash grabbers. It's American Arcade. You'll find a lot of these. 
More cash grabbers don't even care. Here's the one that everybody knows to stack him. Stacker's machine. You all know how it goes. Again, I don't know anything in this arcade. If any of you want me to play, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I'll get to it. Spin game. More gambling. And I think there was a Star Wars game in here, but besides that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And uh, so that's the entire arcade for you. The entire Tilt Studio. It's really a kitty arcade. It's meant for like little kids to have their birthday parties. You can tell by the choice of games. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. My phone's at 3%, so that's why I'm not really doing anything. So I'm just gonna cut this off here, sorry about that. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all later. Peace out.